it's not a question of will we go through difficult times. That's not a question at all. We will. The question is, how do we do it? Good afternoon. It's good to see you. Well, at least to, to be with you uh, online for, for a few minutes. Uh, today's verse of the day is James chapter 1, verse 12. And it says, Blessed is the man, or we would say person, blessed is the person who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Again, that verse doesn't say, blessed is the, the, the person if he's under trial, because we will be. We all face things. But it's blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. I like that word steadfast. It, it, it's just, it's a neat description of how we, uh, how we should respond and to the difficult times that come in our life. Uh, steadfast means to, to be resolutely or dutifully firm, to be unwavering. Um, it, it, as Merriam-Webster says, it, it implies a steady and unwavering course in love, allegiance, or conviction, like steadfast in their support. Uh, it, it implies a firm determination to a principle, to an idea, to a person, whatever. Um, it's that thing of, of, being, of being steady and unwavering. Uh, you know, the, the plaque that was rather common a few years back uh, that was inspired by, by the Brits in World War II, uh, you, you've seen it, where it has the, the picture of the, the crown and it says, keep calm or be calm and keep going, or whatever the, the correct word on that is. The actual words just escape me. Uh, but you get the idea, keep calm and steady on, I guess, or something like that. Um, that that really is a good description of how we deal with trials. You know, last week, the, the verse of the day was talking about the, the God of all comfort who comforts us in our affliction so that we can comfort other people and in the things with the comfort that we have received from God. That was one way to see it, that, that through our trials, God is equipping us to be able to help others. Um, this verse gives us a little bit different of a, of a thing for an idea about how to deal with, uh, with trials. To remain steadfast, not to run away from it, not to fall down under it, although God understands when we fall and he's always available to pick us up, but rather to remain steadfast, to be calm and carry on. That was the phrase I was trying to, to deal to find in my head, to keep calm and carry on. Um, that as best we can using his strength, we, we should keep calm and carry on when we're dealing with troubles, when we're dealing with trials, that we continue to be steadfast that that's what he calls us to do. And it's interesting, it says that that person who is remaining steadfast under trial, that person who is keeping calm and carrying on, is blessed. Now, it doesn't say blessed will be the man who remains steadfast under trial. It says blessed is the man. So that means even while the trial is going on, as we are standing up and being steady, under it, as we are remaining steadfast, remaining true to our beliefs, we are in that moment of trial blessed. How can that be? Because we're learning, because we're growing, because we're becoming better equipped to help other people. Because in that moment of trial, we are experiencing God's strength and God's love and God's peace. All of that is going on during that trial as we remain steadfast under it. So we are blessed at that moment that we remain steadfast under trial. And then it goes on to say not just that present component, but also a future component. It says, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. So this is saying that as we are saying steadfast under trial, as we're keeping calm and carrying on, we know God's blessing right then because we are experiencing his strength and his grace and his help and we're learning and we're growing and all of these things. 
but we also have that future component because we have the knowledge that as that once we have stood the test, that we will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. I will confess, I'm, a, I'm very much a here and now person. I, I don't think about heaven that much. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's there, and, it's, and, I, and I, I find comfort in that. And so for people like me, that's a, a, a good reminder to keep in mind is that, yes, we are going through trials now. But when we have stood the test, we will receive the crown of life. Now, in order for us to receive a crown of life from, as a result of our trials, that means God knows our trials, that God is aware of what's going on. He knows how we are responding to it, and he will reward us for being steadfast, for holding on to him during those times. So as you're going through trials, look for ways that you can be steadfast, Look for ways that you can be calm and carry on. Ways that Look for ways that God is working in you and equipping you during this time so that you can help others. Look for ways that you can be aware of his blessings right then while the trial is going on. And know that God will reward you for it. The trial will not last forever, although it may seem it sometimes. The trial will come to an end. There is a day coming when the trial will be over and we will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. God never breaks his promise. That reward will come. We will receive that crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. So today, keep calm, carry on, be steadfast in the trials that you face. Now, before we go today, I just want to encourage you today to be praying for our community. Um, if you've been seeing the news, you know that there's it's really a trial going on right now for our schools and for our families. Uh, in case somehow you missed the news, they've discovered mold in like 12 of the, of the 45 or so Alamance Burlington school system buildings. And so they've had, they are pushing back the beginning of school, which was supposed to start Monday, <laughs> and they're pushing it back a week. So that's throwing a whole lot of schedules up in the air between, uh, between teachers and schools and parents and students. There's a whole lot going on right now. We want to pray that God will give wisdom to the um, to all of those who are making decisions, you know, whether it's making decisions from the school's perspective or whether it's making decisions based on uh, what do we do as a family <laughs> for this next week, that God will give wisdom, that he will give discernment, that he will give peace uh, during this time, that people won't use this as just an opportunity to get on media and rant and rave, but, rant, but that they will say, okay, yes, this is a bad situation. But let's work through it. Let's find a way that will work for all of us. So let's, let's make that a point of prayer today, that God will help all of us, and especially all these who are impacted by this, to remain steadfast under trial, that they will learn of him through it. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.